Hello everyone, welcome back to another B&M review. Today I'll be taking a look at the 7th Doctor and Action Strokes with Dalek set. A uh, bit of a story to this, so basically my B&M were being useless getting any of the new sets in. So, um, my mum's friend who happens to work at B&M managed to get me this, so thank you to her. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at the box. So, at the top we have the stacked Doctor Who logo. So Vesta McCoy's face. Limited edition sticker as per all the new B M sets. The Seventh Doctor and Axis Strikes called Dalek, ages five plus, big finish logo and character options. Story is from Gallifrey 6. Behind the box, we get a bit of Gallifrey and symbols, start Doctor logo again, and promotional images of the figures. Turn it to the back, we get the normal Doctor logo, name of the set. Uh some write up on the actual audio which is available to buy at bigfinish.com. Turn it to the other side, we get the big promotional image of Gallifrey 6. And if we look at the top, it, it, it's based on the Big Finish audio adventure and has the websites of both companies. So that's it for the box, let's take a look at the figures themselves. Like the TARDIS sets, the Dalek sets also have a backdrop. I believe it's the same with every Dalek set, but it is pretty cool with like planets and ships just getting destroyed. And yeah, I think it's a nice addition that they've done. But yeah, let's look at the figures now. Starting off with the Seventh Doctor. Starting off, what are those eyebrows? They just seem a bit odd, to be honest. I don't really know what's going on with them. Other than that, I suppose details are alright, like the bit of the crease in the jumper, which does kind of look like the TV movie style McCoy, where he's a bit older. And I believe that these are different kind of trousers in this figure and any other Seventh Doctor figure, so that's quite nice, but I just don't know what those eyebrows are, but okay. As for articulation, it's exactly the same as the Seventh Doctor from the Silver Nemesis set, but the head can do 360 degrees, but I don't want to scratch off any paint. The arm and the 360 bend at the elbow and 360 at the wrist. Legs can kick out and can move at the wrist. But yeah, essentially the same articulation as the other Seventh Doctor. Compared to the other one, I think that head sculpt, the Seventh Doctor on the left is more superior. But it's just the eyebrows that look a bit weird to me. Yeah, it just looks odd. Moving on to the Axis Strike Squad Dalek. It is just a new who updated bronze Dalek sculpt from like 2012. Um, and I believe it uses the American Toys R Us, I think. Exclusive Dalek set updated head. I'm not too sure, but um, the detailing of the battle damage is really nice, um, and it looks unique to any of the Daleks. That's kind of what interested me about it, to be honest. Um, it would have been nice if there may have been like a cleaner variant, maybe like in the big finish um, variants that they put online, um, but either way. It looks quite nice. Um, articulation, same as any. Dalek head can do 360 degrees. Although the eye stalk, it feels a bit weird when you put it up and down. Um, and I did see if anything was wrong with it. And you can take the eye stalk out. Which is a bit worrying, but I can easily put it back in. And the pluck and arm can go up and down although 
it all seems a bit wonky, which is a bit not great. Overall, the set is quite nice, but some detailing and the Dalek eye stalk and plunger is a bit wonky, so you might want to be careful with that. But if you can find this in your local BM, I would recommend it because it's got a really nice variation of the Dalek and a fairly good new variation of Sylvester McCoy from the TV movie. Well, the closest we'll ever get to it, I think. But yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching this review, and I hope to see you in my next one. So with that being said, thank you for watching, and goodbye.